Hi folks, Terry Tuggle with H&H &H Color Lab. You know, we've been talking a lot about the school pitcher business lately. You know, and friends, let me be frank, where the rubber meets the road, it's all about being in the school, educating them of your capabilities and asking them for the business, creating some level of doubt that they're missing out on your, ser your superior level of service and commitment. They may not be getting the best school photography. Starting a relationship and building a rapport with a key gatekeeper can and will pay dividends. In this clip, you'll see Jeff Edwards from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Randy Michaels, our sales consultant, going through a series of questions and answers and what it might be like in talking to a school secretary or principal's assistant. Let's listen in, see what you think. Not the prettiest school secretary I've ever seen. Okay. Okay, first scenario now is going to be a real easy, this secretary is really easy, so. Right. So, hi, my name is Jeff Edwards from Scholastic Reflections Photography. Well, I nice came, to meet you. Thank you. I came by today to make an appointment for later on with Dr. Drip, the principal, and what I wanted to do was to introduce him to our service. We do school photos and yearbooks in the area, and with our program, you'll do less work, your parents will have more choice and get a better value, and your school will have a better fundraising program than what the other competitors in the area. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Sure. Great, thanks for your time. Um, describe for me your work around picture day. What do you have to do in order for picture day to happen in your school? Well, it's pretty simple. We've done it uh, for years. They've got me trained uh, pretty, pretty simple. I make sure when they first come in that uh, their, the room that they're in is uh, open. If not, I get the janitor or I open it for them. And uh, then I call each classroom down as they need uh, more students. And uh, I guess that's about it. It's pretty easy for me. That, like I say, I do it the same way every year. They, will, they tell me what to do and I do it. Pause. This secretary, by the way, is from Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And she's a talker personality. But you'll see that I asked a simple question and I got a pretty long answer and that's not uncommon. Now let me go a little bit further and let me ask you a couple questions. Did you hear anything in her statement that she said that would throw something off as a bell in your head? They got me trained. That's the first thing that's a great train. So at what I would do is one of the things that I would ask is, and we'll come back to that in a second, what else did you hear? Done it for years. Done it for years? I yep. get the students. I get the students. I get the room opened up. I get the room opened up. What else do you hear? What's that? You heard simple and easy? Okay. Tell me what to do when I do it, okay? So Jeff, also, I want to point this out, asked for permission to ask me questions. That's an important part of this process. Okay, so now that she said that, we're going to go back. So it sounds to me like you have a lot of things to do around picture day, and you said that they have you trained. Is there any one thing you'd like to change about your program that would make it easier for you, you think? I'd like to, I, it's awful busy here in the office, so I would really not like the interruptions of having to get the students. That's kind of all. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I might go on to the next thing is, so when you get your packages back, tell me about how that works for you and in your school. What do you have to do related to that? Well, it's always the same process. They come in a box, each group teacher is bundled, so I just distribute them to each classroom. Of course, the hard part there is they're doing either lunch time or they're in phi ed, and then you can never find that teacher. So it takes me about a whole afternoon to get all those pictures distributed. So it sounds like distribution's pretty complicated for you. It just takes time and I'm, I'm the only one in the office in the afternoon. It, it, it's, it's stressful. So it really creates a lot of stress and, and you'd really maybe like to see something different? Well, easier is always better. Okay. So I've got a couple things here and all I'm trying to get out of her is the, the, the option 
to talk to the principal to get an appointment because that's what she's keeping me from. So I might at this point go, well, if I could show you a way that I could reduce the amount of work that you do in your school and make distribution for you much easier, do you think I could make an appointment with Dr. Drip to introduce our program to him? Well, if it would make it easier for me, I would sure think so. Okay, so now I'm getting a yes. My next thing is, does Dr. Drip make his own appointments or do you make them for him? Well, he makes his own appointments. Okay, is there a good time that I can contact him? What's the best time of day? Well, I would say I'd wait till after classes start. I'd wait till nine o'clock. When the buses are coming in, it's pretty chaotic in here. And what's the best way for me to reach him? Does he have a direct line or? Well, he does, but he uses that mostly for outside calls. So just call here. Okay, and if I call here, will I be talking to him or to you or? Well, I'll answer the phone, but if he's in, I can let him talk, let you talk to him. Great, thank you. And so I'm gonna leave because I've got an opportunity to, to, to talk to him tomorrow, the next day or whatever. Now, I've had situations where I've gone through that and she goes, he makes his own appointments. She sticks her, because she's now excited, because she's gonna have to do less work. I've had secretaries go, come here. <laughs> and take you into the principal and say, this guy wants to talk to you. You know, you might wanna give him a few minutes. Of course, the principal's gonna look stunned and go like, what the hell is this guy in my office for? And then you're gonna do the same thing over and we're gonna do that a little bit more later on.